Ireland central bank governor labels unbacked cryptos as Ponzi schemes. Gabriel Maktouf, the governor of the central bank of Ireland, has likened unbacked cryptocurrencies to a Ponzi scheme while noting that crypto is not going away very soon. In a Friday blog post, Maktouf stated that Ireland central bank differentiates between backed and unbacked crypto. The bank remains open towards the potential of backed crypto such as electronic money tokens AMS and asset reference tokens ARTS under the markets and crypto assets regulation MyCA. However, the benefits of unbacked and poorly backed crypto should be treated with a large dose of skepticism, Maktouf said. He added that buying these is like buying a lottery ticket while there is a possibility of a win, it is unlikely. Maktouf further argued that describing it as an investment is an abuse of the word and that Ponzi schemes would be a more accurate term. The central bank discourages the marketing of crypto to the public, especially the aggressive advertising by influencers who do not disclose they are being paid to promote it. The eye of the regulator, the crypto winter and the events seen over the past year should not be forgotten, Maktouf wrote. These include the market downturn, the collapse of Terra slash Luna and FTX among others, the subsequent contagions, an absence of consumer and investor protection, misleading advertising, inappropriate use of client assets and insufficient quality of reserves. Firms operate without regulatory oversight and it is clear that some of them chose to operate with little thought for consumers or investors. What began as the crypto winter in 2022 still reverberates. Notably, Maktouf added, these very events and the failures in the industry have ensured that regulators, policymakers and central banks all focus on discussing crypto and its role in the financial system. The European Parliament just recently approved my CA. The new regulatory framework covers a wide range of issues within the crypto sector and affects exchanges, custody providers, investment advisors, stablecoin issuers and other entities operating within the EU market. Although not due to be fully implemented in the EU until the start of 2025, it's an important step in the regulation of crypto activities, Maktouf said. Crypto is not going away. However, the governor noted that there is a real step forward being made as central banks seek to utilize technological innovations. As an example, he gave the Bank of International Settlements BIS Innovation Hub Eurosystem Center where projects work on the compliant use of decentralized finance DeFi tools, blockchain, and smart contracts. The Central Bank of Ireland has a strong focus on technological innovation, recognizing that we are in a moment of significant technological transformation, he said, adding that any change comes with risks and benefits. The reality, of course, is that crypto is not going away very soon and the nature of the product means international coordination is needed to ensure it is regulated and supervised at a level commensurate to the risk it poses. Maktouf concluded that the crypto market should be treated as other financial markets with similar rules on client funds treatment, disclosures, governance, risk management, and information exchange. EU lawmakers to vote on new crypto regulations ban anonymous transfers above 1,000 European Parliament passes historic anti-money laundering rules for crypto industry more. Regulation incoming, European Central Bank, digital euro to offer maximum privacy, though not as much as cash crypto companies make complaints to UK government amid banking woes what's going on, is Bitcoin a pyramid scheme? Countries where Bitcoin is banned or legal in 2022.